recognize that. It's Wuma's bandana. You really did beat him up, Is didn't that person you? just lacking really, really well, bad? Maybe you're stronger than Wuma, but I bet you're not stronger than I the believe real him. bad guy. You can He's get to the portal. Hey. He's scarier than the top dog of the clay pot kettles and all the pot dogs put together. If you're brave enough to sneak into the kennels and bring the special it sounds like he's playing game on us. Then I'll know you're the greatest warrior on song I just think he's a really, really scared boy, and he needs to know if we're stronger than the person that's threatening him before he tells us who's threatening him. Mm. I, don't, mm. I don't trust it. I might have to agree with Jolly on this one. <sighs> like, he, he really sounds like he is a con artist that is playing the role of victim. Hey, it's you. A lot of time you showed up. I needed your help. Dragon Coil, of course. After I left the Forge Keepers, I heard a rumor that these things and about these things and came here to check it out. But I can't get to work. Can't get it to work. Legends say Dragon Coils grant warriors the blood of dragons. Luckily, you're a warrior. So go there and make it work, and nobody's going to pay to stand in front of a non magic dragon statue. If I knew that, I wouldn't be talking to you. Try punching it. You have to prove that you're a warrior or something. Oh yeah, that's how you get something to work. Fucking punch it. Mmm, <laughs> I do. Gotta stroke it, make it feel good about itself. Wow. So, um, the points now. <laughs> so you press K, and the very first skill you have is your basic attack. K. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, straight jab. Uh huh. That's your basic attack. Yeah, and how do I do it? You, uh... Like, how do I put points in it? You left-click on the tiers, like, you see on the, um, the right-hand side? Yeah. Yeah, so you just go down to tier two, or tier one, move to, or however you're to set up, and you can read what going to these tiers will do to your basic attack, and then you just pick the one you want. Okay, now I do more damage. I'm sorry there. I'm sorry, but the acquired tasters are the only doing take home orders right now. There was a bar fight here a few days ago and all of our plates and cups are broken. We usually could get more from the Mary Potters, but they're busy preparing for the Killing Festival. So who else could we turn to? Turn to, but the clay paw pot dogs, they seem eager to help us. But when we paid them, they attacked us and left. Now we have no dishes, no money to get more, but I have a plan. The clay paw have a cache of pottery outside the clay paw kennels. If you can create a distraction, you know, punch a few of them or something, my compatriots of acquired taste will raid their cache. Hopefully, we can sneak off with enough dishes to keep our restaurant going. Thank you, we're counting on you, warrior. No, they do give us a lot of keys. So we're stealing dishes now? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell if this is a chick or a boy. I don't know. You do the chick voice. Okay. It saddens me that you and I only get to see Song Shu Al as it is now and not what it was. My family has lived here for centuries, and while it's beautiful now, they say that it's really changed for the worst. For one, Song Shu used to be all forest, the streams used to be rivers, and were full of jumping happy fish. There used to be hearts and bulbry all over the place. Now all we've got are fungus and nettling bugs. But that was before the clay paw dogs moved in. They were attracted to Song Shu because of its excellent clay, but once they set up shop, Song Shu changed. The clay, the clay paw started setting up dams to make more clay, chopping down trees to fuel their kilns, and leaching pigments and glazes into the streams and soil. I know, Song Shu Isle has, may never be the same unless we persuade Wu Fu that being here is not worth the trouble. Maybe if we defeated him and stole a jar of his pigments? Wu Fu is the top dog of the clay paw do pot dogs. If you defeat him and take his jar, he may pack up his pot dogs and leave. Can you defeat? Can you beat him, warrior? I don't doubt your skill, but you might want to take some friends with you if you're going to face him. Please. 
Oh wow, there's still like 12,000 quests in here. What do you mean? I was really about to jump off. There's another quest right here. My parents have said it's too dangerous here. We're, we've been robbed with, by the Black Ram twice. I did say this was the last straw. Now we're packing up and moving to the Cinderlands. Both my parents have found jobs, but I'm worried about my own future. I was studying to become a monk, but now I'm going to move away. In a way, I'm kind of relieved. I'd rather work with my hands, maybe do something that's art, you know, like pottery. As you know, the Great Killings is in the Cinderlands. It's the pottery capital of the world. The Mary Potters have a workshop there. If only I can get an apprenticeship here, there, but I know nothing about pottery. The clay pot dogs, though, they know all about pottery. I've even heard that they've put their unique pottery techniques down in a book. If only I can get that book from them. Oh, please, Warrior, will you go to the Clay, clay Pop Kennels and get their possum pottery book for me? So, steal for this little kid. Yeah. Does he keep moving his head back and forth? I have no idea. He, he got a crick. He, remember, he was training to, to be a monk, so there was a lot of meditation involved. You know, he's trying to work out the kinks. <laughs> that makes sense. But monks also do pottery, though. Ah, oh, you brought the extract. Thank you. You are so kind. Now we can spruce this place up a bit. Maybe we'll get some more visitors now. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man, what? I didn't get two of the extract things. Oh. Probably because we was fighting over the uh, the necklace. Yep. I told y'all to move in closer. I already good. I was good on my stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll just do it off camera. I'm not going to worry about it. Namsuyo, I haven't seen her in years. I can still... I can still hear her call my name like she used to when she was skipping in the door. Everyone knows of her beauty, but it saddens me that they don't know the real Namsuyo. She lived here at the temple before she was adopted by Dochen. I got to know her well. She had lost everything, and our temple was only a meager comfort with its peeling paint and smell of mold. A few oldie, moldy old monks as well. When she was first here, I could tell she was afraid to be close to anyone. Instead, she took pleasure in money and material things. Finally, after many months, I was able to get through to her. I'd like to remind her of the, her old monastery home. She was quite happy here with us, taking joy in small tasks like picking mushrooms and tending to the sick. I've heard she still tends to the injured in Bamboo Town. She's such a good girl. If you would, I'd like to assemble a care package for her to remind her of her life here and her happiness. Bring me a few caps of the vile death caps and the ravenous viper caps that live by the clay paw kennels. And while you're there, sneak a tube of resin from the pot dogs. We use it to as a poultice to bring down fevers. <sighs> so what? Now we're making care packages for people? I guess. Yeah, it looks that way. Oh my gosh. It's like, I love doing the side quests, but some of these side quests is just like. Hmm. I need to open Pointless. those boxes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Do I have a. Nope, I don't have a box. I think I already did it. Oh, wait. Was there more in here? More on where? What, more quests? There sure is. Oh, yep. Hold on. Where'd you go? I went back in with quests. Like which way? Uh, up here on this hill. On the hill to the left? Mm-hmm. So it's behind the uh No, over here. Back over here by this hut, right here. Oh. Where we got the first quest. Wait on Nanu, he's down below. Uh no, y'all go ahead. Sure. Just... Oh wait, never mind. I thought I had enough, you know, for that one quest to turn in, but I need one more, so. Right. Alright, right when you are. What an odd looking boy. What red hair and pierce piercing eyes whoever this would be uh whoever this is would be a striking adult 
He looks so familiar, but I would definitely remember someone who looked like that. And yet, bah, I'm sorry. I thought for sure I, if I saw the portrait, I would recognize him. I've, I've been stationed here for a while now. I remember if I'd seen someone who looked like that. But the hair, the eyes, I think I've heard of someone who mentioned that description. Give me a while to think about it. That sounds like Guan. I don't know who that is. The leader of the Black Ram. Oh. Hello, warrior. Been wandering around Sung Shu Isle, right? On your way here, you didn't happen to see an old man, a middle-aged man, and a young boy all dressed up like bamboo guards, did you? Grandpa Banson, his son Ban Yong, and Ban Yong's boy Ban Chia all patrol Sung Shu Isle together as members of the bamboo guard. I know they seem highly irregular, but the three of them insisted on joining and serving them together. Ban Yong's wife, Ban Lai, was a celebrated bamboo guard. All three of them remaining bands of the remaining bands have vowed to serve in her stead. I was skeptical of them joining, I still am, but Doden was a friend of Ban Lai's and I let him talk me into it. And now we're in a situation where the whole family is missing. Doden's heart is in the right place, but he doesn't always think things through, and now I'm responsible for the lives of an entire clan. But I'm getting ahead of myself. They may have just gotten lost, or maybe the route I gave them was too much. Bonson is an old man. Their patrol took them very near the Pot Dog's Clay Paul Kennels. I really hope they didn't run into uh, the Clay Paul Top Dog Wu Fu. He would defeat the bon Bongs easily. Please, warrior, could you look into the Bond's appearance? Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Ban? Bangs? Mm, don't look at me. I don't know. Yo. <laughs> what? Okay. I was about to say. What happened? Like let there Wall. not be one more quest in this place. Okay, so this closer quest is supposed to be in a cave somewhere over here. Over here to the right. Uh, I hate hitting those invisible walls. You shall not pass. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's a solo field. This is new. Oh, these must be the dragon things. This, uh, let me see. Ha! Or if Arpoon came in here and tried to use the dragon coil. He couldn't figure it out. He kicked it. He's not very smart, but he thinks he is. What does it look like? It's a Naru relic, of course. My grandpa told me that Naru built these uh, where warriors trained in battles were fought. The goober, Orifon, couldn't figure it out, but it's really very simple. I'm surprised he didn't turn it on by accident. Do you want to learn to operate it? Good. You know, I'm getting to be a good teacher. Maybe I'll be like my grandpa Cho one day. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. Go stand device and press the F key. I hate that he keeps wiping his nose. It's so damn disgusting. All right, what does that do? It just gave you a heart. Oh. You're a fast learner. You the one near me this time. Oh, come on, loading screen. Notice anything different? Feel a little stronger, maybe? Do you see the heart icon next to your hit points? Did it turn red? That's a dragon blood heart. When it's red, it's full of dragon blood. Sounds kind of gross, but it's really, really useful. Well, I could tell you, but I think a demonstration would be more fun. Okay, close your eyes and hold out your hands. I'm going to give you a present. What the f okay? You're okay though, right? Even though you got blown to bits, you're still alive. That's the magic of dragon blood. If you hadn't filled the dragon blood heart, you'd be dead. And we have a mess to clean up. See how Dragonblood heart is empty now? The Dragonblood protected you. 
you will have to fill one of your hearts up to revive again. You can only fill them up once when you enter a dungeon and when you leave, the hearts disappear. I don't know why Grandpa Cho told me once, but I wasn't listening. Oh, but I was listening when he told me that some need neural cones to operate. Make sure you bring Naru coins with you if you want to use dragon coils. I hope the dragon coils help you, warrior. Me and Bur Buna and Grandpa Cho are rooting for you. Don't doubt us, okay? Huh, so they use Naru coins now instead of um soul stones. That's nice. What is wait, what what the fuck is this? The Naru coin? No, this coil thing. That's the dragon coil. That's what gives you the hearts. They show up in dungeons, like particularly hard dungeons, mm -hmm. so that you can keep fighting and it just revives you instantly. Like when your HP hits zero, it's just like HP hits zero, now your HP is full. So instead of usually doing what? Uh, falling on the floor and crawling away in the mob resetting. Oh, okay. That way you can instantly come back and just hopefully keep fighting. defeat the mob before it resets. No, it's just an instant thing. Like you don't drop aggro. Oh, okay. 